Picture this. A dense forest at dawn, the air thick with anticipation. Suddenly, a group of warriors emerges from the shadows, launching a surprise attack on an unsuspecting enemy. This scenario, a classic example of an ambush, has been a pivotal tactic in warfare throughout history. Understanding the basics, ambushes, raids, and hit-and-run techniques are age-old military strategies designed for strategic surprise. They are the quintessence of asymmetric warfare, allowing a smaller force to outmaneuver and significantly damage a larger, often more conventionally powerful opponent. Ambushes. These are sudden attacks from concealed positions. Their success lies in surprise, terrain advantage, and precise execution. Raids. Quick unexpected strikes into the enemy territory aim to disrupt, destroy, or gather intelligence without intending to hold ground. Hit and run. This guerrilla warfare tactic involves swift surprise attacks followed by a rapid withdrawal before the enemy can counterattack. Ambushes. The element of surprise. Ambushes are one of the most effective tactics in military history, embodying the element of surprise to catch the enemy off guard. This technique is not merely about hiding and attacking. It's an art that requires meticulous planning, knowledge of the terrain, and an understanding of the enemy's movements and psychology. Strategic planning. The success of an ambush hinges on the ability to predict the enemy's actions. Military leaders study their adversaries' patterns, identifying routes that the enemy is likely to take. This foresight allows the ambushing force to choose a site that can remain hidden until the moment of attack, ensuring maximum impact. Terrain advantage. The choice of location is paramount. The ideal ambush site offers concealment for the attackers, clear lines of sight on the target, and minimal escape routes for the enemy. Natural features like forests, mountains, and urban environments can provide the necessary cover and complexity to enhance the effectiveness of an ambush. Execution and discipline. The discipline of the troops is crucial. Soldiers must maintain silence and remain hidden until the precise moment. The trigger for springing the ambush is carefully chosen, often when the enemy is most vulnerable, such as when they are in a confined space or when their ability to respond is limited. Historical example. One notable instance of an effective ambush is the Battle of Teutoburg Forest in 9 AD, where Germanic tribes led by Arminius ambushed and destroyed three Roman legions. The tribesmen utilized their intimate knowledge of the dense forest terrain to decimate the Roman forces, illustrating how well-executed ambushes can devastate even the most formidable armies. Psychological impact. Beyond the immediate tactical advantages, ambushes exert a psychological toll on the enemy. The fear of the unknown of being attacked at any moment without warning can demoralize troops and erode their willingness to move forward. This aspect of psychological warfare is critical to the ambush's effectiveness. Ambushes remain a testament to the principle that in warfare, brains often outdo brute force. By leveraging the elements of surprise and terrain, even a smaller force can significantly impact the outcome of a conflict. Raids, strikes with precision and purpose. Raids are a dynamic and versatile component of military strategy, designed to deliver a decisive blow to the enemy in a swift, targeted action. Unlike ambushes, which rely on the enemy coming to a predetermined location, raids involve entering enemy territory to achieve specific objectives. This tactic is about speed, surprise, and precision. Objectives of raids. The goals of a raid can vary widely, from destroying supplies, equipment, or infrastructure to capturing prisoners or gathering intelligence. What distinguishes raids is their focus on achieving these objectives quickly and then withdrawing before the enemy can effectively respond or regroup. Planning and execution. A successful raid requires detailed planning and surveillance. The raiding force must clearly understand the target, its defenses, and any potential obstacles. Timing is critical, with many raids occurring under darkness to minimize detection. The element of surprise must be maintained, and once the objective is achieved, a rapid extraction is crucial to reduce casualties and prevent the enemy from launching a counterattack. Historical example. The British commando raids during World War II exemplify the effective use of this tactic. Operations like the St. Nazaire raid in 1942, where commandos destroyed the Normandy dry dock in German-occupied France, demonstrate how raids can have strategic impacts far beyond the immediate objectives, disrupting enemy operations and sapping morale. Flexibility and adaptability. Raids showcase the importance of flexibility and adaptability in military operations. The raiding party must be prepared to adjust their plans in real time, responding to unexpected challenges or opportunities. This agility allows them to exploit weaknesses in the enemy's defenses and maximize the impact of their actions. 
Technological and Tactical Evolution The nature of raids has evolved with advancements in technology and tactics. Modern raids might involve cyber elements, targeting critical digital infrastructure to disrupt communications or gather data alongside traditional physical attacks. However, the principles of speed, surprise, and precision remain unchanged. Raids exemplify the strategic use of force to achieve targeted objectives, demonstrating that effective military operations are not always about holding ground, but achieving specific outcomes that contribute to the broader goals of a conflict. Hit-and-run techniques, guerrilla warfare's signature tactic. Hit-and-run techniques are a hallmark of guerrilla warfare, allowing smaller, less conventionally armed forces to effectively engage larger, better-equipped opponents. These tactics emphasize mobility, surprise, and the strategic use of limited resources to harass, degrade, and demoralize the enemy. Principles of hit-and-run warfare. The essence of hit-and-run tactics lies in the ability to strike swiftly and unpredictably, then disappear before the enemy can mount a counterattack. This approach relies heavily on the guerrilla force's intimate knowledge of the local terrain, the local population's support, or at least acquiescence, and the ability to remain mobile and undetected. Tactical Implementation Hit-and-run operations can target various objectives, including military patrols, supply convoys, and infrastructure. These attacks are typically carried out to inflict maximum damage with minimal engagement, avoiding prolonged combat that could favor the more significant force's numerical and technological advantages. Historical context, the effectiveness of hit-and-run tactics has been proven across various conflicts. During the Vietnam War, for example, the Viet Cong used these techniques to great effect against U.S. and South Vietnamese forces, leveraging the dense jungles and tunnel networks to launch attacks and then quickly vanish. Psychological Warfare Beyond their physical impact, hit-and-run tactics serve as a powerful tool of psychological warfare. The unpredictability and persistence of these attacks can significantly strain enemy forces, undermining morale and complicating strategic planning and resource allocation. Modern Evolution In the contemporary battlefield, hit-and-run techniques have adapted to include cyber attacks, drone strikes, and other forms of asymmetric warfare. These modern iterations continue to leverage the core principles of surprise, speed, and adaptability, demonstrating the enduring relevance of this approach in both physical and digital arenas. Hit-and-run techniques underscore that strategic ingenuity and adaptability can level the playing field in asymmetric conflicts. By employing these tactics, smaller forces can sustain a campaign against larger adversaries, challenging conventional notions of military strength and dominance. Given the comprehensive examination of ambushes, raids, and hit-and-run techniques, we've covered the essentials of these strategic military tactics extensively. Each section delved into the principles, execution, historical examples, and modern adaptations, providing a rich understanding of their roles in asymmetric warfare and beyond. Now let's conclude this exploration by reflecting on the broader implications of these tactics for military academy students and future military leaders. Reflecting on the lessons of asymmetric warfare, studying ambushes, raids, and hit-and-run techniques extends beyond historical curiosity or tactical knowledge. These tactics embody the essence of asymmetric warfare, where the balance of power is not measured solely in numbers or firepower, but in the ability to adapt, innovate, and exploit the terrain and psychological advantage. Here are key takeaways for military academy students. Innovation in strategy, military history teaches us that the most successful commanders were those who could think creatively, adapting traditional tactics to their advantage. The future of warfare will undoubtedly involve new technologies and unforeseen challenges, requiring the next generation of military leaders to be adept at traditional warfare and innovative in applying new strategies. Understanding the enemy. The effective use of these tactics often hinges on a deep understanding of the enemy's mindset, strategies, and vulnerabilities. This principle underscores the importance of intelligence, surveillance, and empathy in military strategy, enabling leaders to anticipate and counter opponents' moves. Moral and ethical considerations. Engaging in or defending against these tactics brings moral and ethical considerations to the forefront of warfare. Future leaders must ponder the impact of their strategies on civilians, the environment, and the broader geopolitical landscape, adhering to international laws and norms. The role of technology. As seen with modern adaptations of these tactics, technology plays a pivotal role in shaping the battlefield. Mastery of technology, from cybersecurity to drone warfare, will be essential for future military operations. 
However, the principles of surprise, speed, and psychological impact remain constant, blending the old with the new. Resilience and psychological readiness. Finally, these tactics highlight the importance of psychological resilience, both in executing operations and in enduring them. Future military leaders must cultivate physical endurance and mental fortitude, preparing themselves and their troops for the unpredictability and stresses of asymmetric conflicts. Conclusion. The art of warfare is evolving, but the principles underlying ambushes, raids, and hit-and-run techniques remain relevant. They teach us the importance of strategy, innovation, and psychological understanding in military operations. For students at the Military Academy, these lessons are invaluable, providing a foundation upon which to build a nuanced understanding of modern warfare and leadership. As future leaders, your challenge will be to navigate these complexities, leveraging the lessons of the past while forging new paths in the art of war.